if I can put a game on this list that I've barely even scratched the surface of, you know it's something truly special, and The Witcher 3 is exactly that, special. Made by a relatively unknown team as far as the AAA space is concerned, CD Projekt Red, I still can't believe how fucking great The Witcher 3 is. Like I said, I've barely even scratched the surface, I'm... What, just over 40 hours into it? And I'm barely even halfway through the story. Not from lack of trying, though, not because I got bored or anything. I literally just haven't had time to fully sink my teeth into it, and I'm sure if I did finish it, I could stick it a bit higher up this list. As it stands, though, my god, it hurts my head to even think about all the amazing shit this game does for up to the point that I've played it. The world and the sheer scale of it and how it manages to fit so much into its disc from hidden areas, secrets, and even vertical design as well as horizontal with mountains and underground caves and temples is gobsmacking. And how they made every single inch of it worth exploring and worth taking in I have no fucking clue. The sun effects, the weather, and overall visual quality literally made me audibly say wow to myself when I bathed in them right in front of the TV, and the impeccably constructed, witty, and engaging dialogue and voice acting makes it a treat for the ears as well as the eyes. In fact, I'd go as far as to say this game looks better than real life. I'm not joking. Does this face look like a joke face to you? I mean, just travelling around the world and finding every little thing, looting bodies, and cleaning up scummy people around all the local towns and villages is enough of a great time on its own, and the combat for as responsive and fulfilling the mix of sword combat, dodge and spells up is pretty damn difficult and requires a decent amount of time to engage with the world and learning with all the weaknesses and appropriate use of the broad range of spells for every kind of beast, poltergeist and human enemy. And no matter if you fight single enemies or intelligent groups, it's always a pleasure, especially with the gargantuan boss monsters and how often you need to lure them out and take care of their homes yourself like a proper hunter in the open world would do, but with the added bonus of fantasy beasts that make every single encounter worthy of a best of gaming moments as from whatever fucking year this game came out. <laughs> the tiny little side mission are a fantastic change of pace from the fist fights and horse racing to card games and even proper fucking reading, yes. Some puzzles are solved by what you read in things yourself. And the RPG elements are insanely deep and infinitely customizable and manageable for those into a good old tinker fest. And another fantastic thing about the game is how unexploitative money is, so choices on what to sink rare items to and what to buy, upgrade or repair require a lot of thought. But my absolute favourite part of this whole thing though are the proper meaty side quests. Along with the main story, or from what I've seen so far, the side missions I've played do have enough story, emotion and mystery with interesting characters packed into them to make them better than most standalone modern game campaigns released today. And they're oftentimes utterly grotesque and always brimming with original ideas. And you could be battling, puzzling and exploring your way through all of this while dealing with the dialogue trees and how they affect character relationships, who lives and dies, XP bonuses and quest direction all at the same time. It's incredible. Let alone for the value on display here. Even though at full retail price the amount of content you get is absolutely jaw dropping. The size of what you have to play and is worth three games plus, and the PS4 version I got the game and even came with its own fucking CD soundtrack, so I could listen to one of the greatest, most epic, badass, and often tear-jerking scores in modern gaming history in the car while doing my fucking shopping. Even as I speak, there are new expansions, and the game itself has dropped a lot in value, so if you haven't played Witcher 1 or 2, I wouldn't say it matters too much. Do yourself a huge favour and fucking own Witcher 3. It's a million times better than I could have ever imagined, and I'll be getting back into it whenever I can for many years to come. Today's Pixel Empire deal in the description below is one that has fuck all to do with The Witcher. Doom! Well, I guess other than the game being pretty damn great. I have no other jokes or stuff. There's nothing else I can say than this is a beautiful print and then you should take a look because it's on offer today. And if you'd like it even cheaper, well, get on it then and use the discount code CADDY on checkout for a further 15% off. Hmm. Or else meet your doom. Haha, <laughs> it's a joke. So until tomorrow, stay tuned and stay beautiful.